Hey guys, it's Ray. Uh, we're here, the first day, Grossman in the morning, uh, and I don't know what I'm doing, so we're going to see uh, if I can do a live video and part of the show at the same time. It'll be exciting. Maybe. Um, so, we are here. Mary is doing the news right now, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, which will be an ongoing process, by the way. We'll do a, a, a couple of these today because you don't want to sit through a four-hour video, and neither do I. But anyway, here we are in the studio. It's all very, very fancy. I'll try to not get crazy with the camera because people freak out when I move it all over the, the, the place and stuff. All right, we'll see if we can set you down. I think she's talking about me. He's previously worked at stations in South Bend, Elkhart, Warsaw, and Benton Harbor, Michigan. Ooh. And most recently worked at Fox 28 TV in South Bend. Yay me. The Culver Community School Board is expected to consider the reappointment of a moderate Kippecanoe Township Library board member by Nanny tonight. During their 7 o'clock Eastern meeting, members will also get updates on the corporation's superintendent search and the sale of the Monterey School Building. Bids on that property are being accepted through Friday. A local school corporation is encouraging students to start thinking about how they're going to pay for college. Oregon Davis Junior Senior High School is hosting a financial aid night tomorrow evening at 6.30. It will take place in room 115, which is the humanities room. And Stella College Financial Aid Director Diana Kerrigan will share information about all types of financial aid and the FAFSA, which is short for free application for federal student aid. If parents and students bring their 2015 tax returns, they can stay and complete the FAFSA after Kerrigan's presentation. OD students are encouraged to bring their laptops along. Corporation officials say laptops will be available for students that don't have them. The free presentation is open to members of the surrounding community as well. WKVI News and Information on the Hour, sponsored by Tim Dobson Ford, serving the Winnemac community since 1972. The WKVI AccuWeather.com forecast is now. Tim Dobson Ford in Winnemac is featuring pre-owned certified vehicles. We're selling cars at the bar. So exciting, I know. You ask what is pre owned certified? I'll explain. It's vehicles with 172 point inspection by factory trained technicians. 12 months, 12,000 miles with a Ford comprehensive limited warranty coverage. And Jim Dobson Ford has several to choose from. Stop in and take a look. Their staff is waiting to serve you. Showroom hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, I think we're good to go. Every day I wake up at 5 a.m. to give dad his medicine. At 6 a.m. I make his breakfast. At 7 a.m. I shower. Every day I wake up at 5 a.m. to give dad his medicine. At 6 a.m. I make his breakfast. At 7 a.m. I shower. I start laundry at 8. At 10, we'll go for a walk. Every day I wake up at 5 a.m. For those dealing with the daily struggles of caring for a loved one, that's why AARP created a community of experts and other caregivers for advice, tips, and support. Together, let's help each other better care for ourselves and the ones we love. Visit aarp.org slash caregiver. The public
public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Here's the exclusive K99.3 WKBI AccuWeather.com forecast. Areas of fog this morning. Otherwise, we'll have clouds breaking for some sunshine with a high of 69 degrees. Partly cloudy, low 51 tonight. Partly sunny tomorrow, milder with a high of 74. Partly sunny on Wednesday, becoming breezy and very warm in the afternoon with a spotty shower and a high near 80. And that's the AccuWeather.com forecast brought to you by McGrath Refrigeration, your local York dealer. If you need a new furnace, call McGrath's and ask about their 10-year parts and labor warranty, 772-3575. McGrath Refrigeration, where the temperature is always just right. K99.3 WKBI AccuWeather. Good morning to you. It is, sep well, it's not even September anymore. That's right. It is Monday, October 3rd, 2016, 510 in the morning, 60.4 degrees. And here we are, a brand new era in the history of K99.3. Grossman in the morning is officially on the air. Thanks for joining me. We are here. We're trying to get things figured out, and we'll see how that goes today. So let's let's not judge today, shall we? We'll We'll, we'll get through it together, okay? Uh, Mary's here with news, Nathan's here with sports, and I'm here trying not to burn the place down. Let's get it started. It is K99.3. Good morning. All right, well, there you go. We are underway, and as far as I know, everything is working. <laughs> um, I did want to mention, uh, we have in hand right now, look at these. I know you can't see them. They're Carrie Underwood tickets for tomorrow night down in Indy, the Bankers Life Fieldhouse, which is the old uh, Conseco Fieldhouse, where the Pacers play. Uh, we have three pairs of those to give away today. We're going to give a couple pairs on the air I'll let you know what to do. Uh, also, we're giving one away on Facebook. If you look down below on our page, uh, I posted something yesterday, like and share kind of thing. Uh, we are already, if I take a look here, we are, as of 512 uh, in the morning, we are up to almost 300 shares. I'm, I, I'm, I'll probably have Mary do it, so, you know, there's, there's no funny business going on, but we will, uh, Pick somebody from the people who like and share this this little the new logo if you look at that look at that that is beautiful right uh, anyway uh, like and share the uh, post and then coming up at about 8:30 we will have uh, Mary maybe somebody will pick a random person who has liked and shared the uh, the picture and uh, you get tickets. Uh, just a reminder though these tickets carry Underwood that is tomorrow night which is a Tuesday night. Uh, and it is, I believe, at 7 o'clock, um, which would be 6 p.m. Central, I, I think. I'll get back, back to you on that. Uh, so that's tomorrow night. So if you can't go on a weeknight, yeah, I know. I know how it is. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably do a couple of these live videos. Still trying to figure them out. <laughs> we'll see how that goes this morning. Because like I said, you don't want to sit through a four-hour video, and neither do I, to be quite honest. Um, other than that, I did want to mention this one thing, though. Uh, we were talking about how, yes, we have to move on, have a new morning show, things like that. But, uh, we also wanted to make sure that we remember our friend Tom. And I came in here yesterday after having a week off or so to, to put some things together for today's show. Walk into the studio, and what do I see? Right up here, looking over all of us. So, <laughs> he's still here. Um, anyway, 
Uh, so we'll check in again a little later. We'll we'll see if we can track Mary down. I brought her a present. Shh. Anyway, all right, we'll check in in a little bit, okay? All right, bye.